Hi guys, welcome back to Sugar Mama TV as part of Lifestyle Love. I'm sure everybody remembers Angela Serrano from mm -hmm. Queen of Sheba, who is no longer Queen of Sheba, mm -hmm. but has converted to her own YouTube channel, Angela Serrano, which I will link in the description box below. But we, when I last caught up with Angela, which is the first time we met, I was blown away by how lovely and warm she is, but how grounded and authentic she is. And she's an incredibly successful businesswoman running her own PR company called Flourish PR. And she's a, just, just a warm, lovely, friendly person. And I, you guys love the video. I got heaps of amazing feedback. And so I wanted to talk to Angela today about fear and anxiety. And particularly talking about the whole image that's portrayed on social media and you know, things like Instagram and really how Instagram captures a moment that's not necessarily what's the true whole picture. And you know, Angela is a very, you know, it's a high achiever, um, but she also is human and um, she also has her own fears and anxiety. So I wanted to, I guess, ask her to open up and share with us some of those fears and how she, what she does to try and overcome them because once you we you know fear it can be very paralyzing but when you learn about new ideas or strategies or techniques to help overcome them, incredible transformations can happen and this is where I want to be able to share with with you guys you know what we do to try and I guess keep moving keep growing keep progressing as humans on this planet so please can you share oh, us? Well, <laughs> thank you so much for your kind words it's so great to be doing another video with you um, yeah, you know, fear and anxiety, I feel like oh, I've had anxiety since I was a little girl, mm -hmm. so it is definitely part of me. But I guess as I've grown up, I've just learned how to deal with it a lot better. And so I have five tips today for anyone out there that is feeling fearful about anything in their life or who has anxiety and wants some tips to get on with it. So the first tip that I would say is acknowledge it. It's okay to feel fearful or feel anxious about anything that, you know, is happening in your life or you might have goals that make you feel fearful. Mm -hmm. I always like to sit down and go, okay, I'm not feeling quite right. I'm feeling a little bit unbalanced or unsettled with this situation or something that I want to achieve and it's making me feel fearful. Mm -hmm. So I like to acknowledge it first and foremost and then I say, okay, why am I feeling this way? And for me with the fear, I like to sort of put it in two categories. It's either really good fear or really yeah. bad fear. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say yeah, mm -hmm. and so if you've got the good fear, that's the fear that makes you feel excited. Like, you know, it's the butterflies in the stomach mm -hmm. sort of feeling and you, you really want to go for it, but you're scared but excited. Yeah. That's good fear yeah. and that I think you should follow that fear. Mm -hmm. The bad fear is like the negative and for me when I feel like something is, is a bad fear um, it feels heavy and it feels overwhelming and it does feel that paralyzing mm. um, and so like an example of that recently is that I got this opportunity to be on a reality TV show Wow! and it was oh a really God. big opportunity yeah. and you know I felt fear like straight away but it wasn't the excited fear it mm. was it was a fear that it just made me feel really heavy and um, confused and overwhelmed mm. and, and the reason that it was bad fear was because it wasn't in line with my values or my morals yeah. okay yeah yeah, so yeah. so I was like, right, okay, that's not a path I want to go down. Yeah. I want to follow the good fear. And so I think it's really, first and foremost, acknowledge the fear and then assess the fear, whether it's good or bad. Mm. So that's my first tip. Can I ask you who first Yes, tip? of course. When you, went, when you realized that about the yes. fear and realized that it was that the negative paralyzing fear and you did, made that decision, no, I'm not going to take on mm. this reality TV project. How did you think? Oh my gosh, I felt like a weight mm -hmm. would, has been had been lifted off my shoulders. I mm -hmm. felt like a bird let out of a cage. I felt so happy, um, and I just knew I was like, I've made the right decision. When yeah. I when I turned down that opportunity, and I felt so liberated, mm -hmm. and because I'd followed my gut, you yeah. know, and it is about following your gut because things will come up, and it's not it's not going to be right for you, yeah. you know. Um, so yeah, definitely acknowledge it and ex and assess the fear. Yeah, yeah, and then you can move on. Um, it's funny, Rocco is in daycare and they, it's, um, they use, I think it's the Steiner approach um, and they're talking, I noticed the other day they were teaching them about what feel, making good decisions and bad decisions and yes. how, and it, they, they said to the kids, ask yourself, how does this make you feel? And a good decision makes you feel good. Yeah. And I'm like, that is so genius and so, so simple. simple. Yes. I would have really liked to have known yeah, that, I know, right? you know, when I was it's younger, true. but it, it does like, how does that make you feel? And that helps yeah. you, you know either pick the, um, whether the fear is the right path or the wrong path. Absolutely, yeah. And fear can be a confusing one as well. So I think it's just really listening and, um, you know, meditating as well. I felt that has really helped me. But my second tip would be um, use, once you've figured out what sort of fear it is, mm -hmm. is that if it's the good fear, 
then um, it's all about taking action and planning. I'm a very organized person, sort of like you're a little bit OCD <laughs> yes. and I love to, I love a plan. Um, so I find when I feel fearful about something, it actually gives me this incredible energy. Mm -hmm. And so I use that energy for good mm -hmm. and I start making plans and I go, okay, what is the long-term goal? So for me, I always wanted to have a business. So I just was obsessed since I was a little girl. I wanted to have my own business. And so that made me feel very fearful. That was the biggest fear I think that I ever had mm -hmm. was starting a business, starting it very young. Um, but the reason that I could do it because I had a long-term goal, but then I broke it down to achievable bite-sized pieces yeah. mm -hmm. to like reach the long-term goal. So yeah, definitely plan and put it into action mm -hmm. and, um, and make them achievable. Like even weekly goals yes. are fantastic, you know, so you can go, okay, know what to do. It's not so overwhelming mm -hmm. if you have a plan. Yeah. Even if you do it on a day, like do a couple of things each day that will, even if it's like a millimeter yes. of action that is it heading you in the, that right direction. Absolutely. It builds momentum. Yeah, if you're doing something every single day, that builds up over a week, over a month, over mm. a year, you're slowly starting yeah. to get a little bit closer to mm. your goal. So that's definitely a top tip of mine. I think uh, the third tip would be um, exercise. Mm -hmm. So for me, fear is energy. Mm -hmm. And if I don't exercise or do something with that energy, it drives me nuts. Yeah. And <laughs> my anxiety just goes through the roof. Yeah. So if I'm feeling anxious or fearful about something, I can go for a walk or I can go to the gym or go to a class. And when I walk out, I feel so good. Yeah. You know, it's human again. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Like it's such an easy one. And sometimes when we get busy, I find like my exercise drops off. And that's when I know that I'm becoming a little bit crazy. Yeah, and I need yeah. to exercise Every again. Prioritize. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's my third tip. Fourth tip would be, um, and this is a this is a new thing for me actually, just in the last twelve months, is get a hobby. Mm -hmm. So I have recently purchased a horse, which was another lifelong yeah. dream of mine. Um, because when I'm horse riding, I can't think about anything else but other than just being on that horse. horse. So for oh, me, beautiful. it's a very mindful exercise, mm -hmm. um, and I think clearing your head. So I think that's probably the tip, clear your head and find something that allows you to clear your head. Mm -hmm. So for me, hobbies have just saved my soul in the last 12 months. Mm -hmm. I think if you can have a hobby that earns you money, keeps you fit yeah. um, and also uh, feeds that creative outlet. So three different hobbies. Mm -hmm. So one for money, one for your creative side and one to keep you fit. I think that's like the key to happiness yes. almost, yeah. you know? And so being able to clear my mind when I'm on that horse, um, because if I start thinking about work when I'm like cantering around mm -hmm. an arena, I'm going to be on the ground because yep. I've got to be on my game, mm. watching what the horse is doing, yeah. um, knowing what my surrounds is happening. If I, um, you know, see another horse doing something in a paddock and my horse is starting to see that, then you know he might react to that, and you know he might um, he might start to bolt or mm. he might pig root, and so I need yeah. to be aware of that. So being very mindful. So getting a hobby that is um, completely separate to your long-term yeah. goal has been has done wonders for me. And horse riding, it takes you outside and it yes. puts you with nature again. And working with animals, you know, the oh. energy from animals is just so, so beautiful, soul-filling. Yes, absolutely. It's completely changed my life in the last 12 months, just getting a hobby mm -hmm. that's separate to my work life um, and getting me outside with fresh air and nature been the best. So then my final tip would be to create a few projects. So I did a TED talk um, a while ago, which, I is, found you. Yes, yeah. which is how we, we came into contact. Um, and so uh, I can send you the details and you can link it below if you like. But I think if you have a fear and you, it might just be a simple fear, you know, um, for me, public speaking was always a fear of mine, you know, and I wanted to be able to conquer that. And, you know, that's one of the reasons why I started my YouTube channel mm. as well. And that's mm. really, really helped me. Um, but joining um, different talking groups or Toastmaster groups, you know, mm. um, and creating a, a project that helps you get over that fear. Um, so I think that would be like my top five tips of, yeah, conquering fear. They've definitely helped me over the last couple of years. <laughs> I, I love all those tips, particularly the hobby. It's yes. made me realize um, that my hobbies have now become my work because my YouTube yes. channel is my hobby. That's right. Now it's become a working thing. Yes. So got to find a new hobby. You need a new hobby. Well, you're learning Italian, so that's great. Yeah, they've, yeah, they've got that going. That's good. <laughs> they but dogs. Yeah, yeah they're taking me outside. But, oh, it's no, been the best. But no, that's such great grounding advice that hopefully can help anyone out there that's going through a rough patch or struggling at the moment or looking for a sense of direction or a path to follow. So thank you so much for sharing. Oh, I really appreciate opening up because 
something that's not easy to yes. do, but that is really valuable um, information that's going to help even me and hopefully a lot of people watching this video. Well, thank you for having me on your channel. Thanks for having me here. Yeah. Yes. Um, just thank a bomb. Um, yeah, I know. So I will link everything we've just talked about in the description box below. Um, and definitely go and check out Angela's channel, which will also be linked in. And you can also follow her on Instagram. I've been doing a lot of stalking recently and I saw the picture of your beautiful new horse. Oh, Marco is the best. <laughs> Um, thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you later in the week for Money Monday or some more lifestyle love. Ciao for now. Bye. Bye.